my name is Prescott Nato, and I'm a senior firefighter with the Williston Fire Department. Thank you for joining us on the third installation of this Fire Prevention Week series. Today, we're going to be talking about smoke detectors. One of the most important things you can do in your home, which is often forgotten, is close your door. If you keep your door closed while you sleep, it can prevent the spread of smoke and fire into your bedroom and buy you viable time. It's very important to test your smoke detectors once a month to make sure that they are operational. In order to do so, pull out a stepladder, climb up, and push the test button and hold it until it chirps. You should hear sounds emanating from all of the detectors in your home if they're interconnected, or just the single unit if it is an isolated detector. The best case scenario for smoke detector installation is having them be interconnected. There are two options for interconnected smoke detectors. The first is having a licensed electrician install them so they are hardwired. The second option is that you can buy wireless interconnected smoke detectors. While it is important to test your smoke detectors every month, we are aware of the fact that some people out there do not have the ability to do so or do not feel safe doing so. If that's the case, please contact your local fire department as they would be more than willing to help out. Replacing your smoke detector batteries two times a year, in the spring and in the fall, is very important to make sure they stay operationally ready. However, there are detectors on the market now that have a battery that will last for 10 years. If you don't want to ever change your detector battery again for the life of the detector, then make sure you look for a 10-year smoke detector if you are purchasing a new one. If the smoke detector sounds, get out and stay out. Have a family meeting spot and practice it to make sure everybody in your family knows where to go. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the Williston Fire Department or if you live out of town, your neighboring fire department, as I'm sure we all would be more than happy to help.